Hey everybody, I hope you're all good. I wanted to go over a couple more thing a couple things and just get it on the chat before tomorrow so you're aware of what's happening this week. I noticed a boost in our team culture after we fired Jay and it, it seemed to be uh, that everyone appreciated that we listened to your input and uh, did that for the sake of the team. So I interviewed two people and one gentleman I gave a job offer to um, this Friday and he accepted and his name is Will Williams. So I have him meeting Mike with Orient for orientation on Monday from 11 to one to tour the place and the same kind of orientation everybody else had. And then um, he'll start full time if he worked for a company where they were all, he's from Everson, he has a home and a family there, and they were in Pittsburgh, him and 8,000 other people working there on scaffolding, and they were uh, all laid off uh, for the coronavirus thing, so he's back here. So if he gets that job back in the next several months, then I told him we would understand if he needed to go there, but he seems like a really high quality individual from what we've observed and what his, um, his reviews were from when I called his references. I also gave a job offer to a, a girl and um, it would be a little uh, getting used to for everyone. We'd need to be a little considerate of her at job sites, going to the bathroom and things like that. Um, but she's worked with guys her whole life. She was also um, worked at, she was a foreman at a tree farm in Colorado and she's been a ski instructor She's in her 20s and also just not very much work at the glass blowing place that she's working at in Bellingham. So I did give her a job offer and if she uh, starts, it would probably be this week. Austin is gone for Monday. Marcus is gone all week with his family out of town. Don't miss us too much, guys. Thanks for the amazing teamwork on Friday. I did have a couple things I wanted to show you. One on the Audible since more of you are using it. So if you look at this here, where it says um, sign out. If you're gonna sign out, tap okay to sign out, erase downloaded content from this device. Please do not erase the downloaded content from this device unless you wanna lose everything that you've uh, put on the phone. You can also delete them as you go along. So I'm going to log in out of my account and I'm gonna log into the August account because I wanna show you something. So it's Augusta Audible at gmail.com and when you sign in and there's a book that you want to read password is Augusta uh, make sure that you do what I'm going to show you now so I'm going to sign into the Augusta Augusta the Augusta that's a short way to do it okay so if I go into our library You'll see here, let me just set up the tripod here so I can show you. Okay, so I'm here in our Audible, and if I go in our library, and I want to read, say, Make Big Happen, if I click on that, you are going to have this come up, and this means that there's other people listening to the same book. You are currently at location blah blah blah, so for me it's zeros, but the last location heard is 39 minutes and 55 seconds in. When you see that, that means somebody else is reading the book and they're at 39.55. You want to click no on that because it'll take you to where they are and you'll lose your place. So let's say if one of you are listening to The Millionaire Next Door. Oops, I don't want to download it. Um, somebody is listening to this book. So you are currently at the location, seven seconds. The last heard location is four hours, 39, 18. Go to that location. Always press no. And it'll take you to where you are in the book, not where somebody else is. So three times this week, I think it was, I lost my place because somebody must be pressing yes. Uh, so always press no on that. The other thing I have was one yellow slip to go over. And let me just pull that up. And it, it's for Zeus, his last visit, which was Thursday. However, it's been the last several visits. for. So this one was for uh, Joni, Cody, 
and she said that the let we left grass uncut along her fence and around the downspouts. We bent the downspout with one of our machines. I don't know if that was Zeus, um, but he missed some grass. Um, two cedar seedling trees, which I heard from some of you, they were an odd place, were weed whacked down. She wasn't too happy about that, and we left the gate open. So her memories of Augusta have been really good and her service, and right now she is pretty unhappy with us and she's asking for the same level of service we had before back so while zeus was out friday i rerouted him in to go back he couldn't unbend the downspout um but he was able to get the other stuff trimmed up and so hopefully we can make her happy in the future let's just be aware of those small things things like that seedling um <clears throat> from what uh, Nick and Austin, they both remembered those, and they didn't look like really like little trees, I guess, but let's be aware of things that might be special to them. Thank you once again, everyone, for your incredible teamwork on Friday and Mike jumping in to help. I don't know if Lee will have any more input, but here is my input and my meeting for tomorrow morning, and I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow.